Welcome to Steve Coach Katie Arena on the campus of Miami University here for Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. This is the second straight weekend. The Red Hawks are at home and the opponent tonight and tomorrow night, the Colorado College Tigers who are also searching for their first win in the calendar year of 2019. Alongside Kenny Schirler, my name is Patrick Eschen. And Kenny, we saw this Miami team struggle a lot last weekend. They got to get something going here this weekend if they want to salvage the season as we get into the nitty gritty of the NCHC schedule. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you don't score any goals in a series, you're, you're not going to win many hockey no. games. And they had uh, have had these last two series tough, play, uh, getting swept at Kalamazoo and then being at home. So hopefully they got a good week of practice in and have their mind ready to get going. And I'm just going to have to say, reiterate, they're just going to have to get the puck in the net before Colorado College to really get some confidence. That's true, and we'll get into that part of the game too as the face-off at center ice, won back by Colorado College, and it's Christian Blumenshine who controls in their own end. They work it out to center for Chris Wilkie, the Florida Panthers draft pick, who gets it deep into the Red Hawks end near corner. And then a centering pass in front from Troy Conzo. It was batted behind the net, and an early chance in front as the puck squared it out to the near side, and Trey Bradley looked for an opportunity, but it was covered up by Ryan Larkin, who is the starter tonight for Miami. He started last night at the Friday night game against Minnesota Duluth, but had to come out early after allowing four straight goals and look for him to try to get something going here tonight. Yeah, it was kind of up in the air. He was going to be in net tonight, so we see Larkin is getting the nod again on a Friday. Hopefully he can stay in net. So the faceoff to his left is one back by Miami. Derek Tashke takes it to the far corner. CC quickly on the puck. They get it back to the line, and a wrist shot from the left point is gloved up by Larkin from Cole McCaskill, the 6'1", 194 senior out of Kamloops, British Columbia. And so we've had two stoppages here, just 28 seconds into the game. Colorado College with two shots, and the faceoff will come to the right of Larkin. It'll be Jonathan Gruden to take it for Miami, and it was supposed to be Weston Michaud for... Colorado College, but actually they're going to kick Gruden out, so Gordy Green will lose the draw for the Red Hawks. This one shot in from the left point. It got deflected wide in the net and came off the end boards, and Larkin will cover that one. So that's our third stoppage here. Inside 34 seconds. If Larkin had any rest, I think he's got rid of that now, facing three straight shots there. Yeah. A little bit of nerves to get out of you early on. CC works it up the right side boards from their own end. It was tipped in by Alex Bernadelli. Now it's Bray Crowder behind his own net, trying to play it far side. Loose puck picked up by Gruden, gets it out to center. Bachman, the return feed didn't work. Now Green over the Tiger line. Had a look open, had a shot, and fired it off Alex LeClaire's glove. And the puck went to the end boards, and Miami keeps it in their offensive end. Jonathan Gruden passed it up to the line, but it'll be kept in by Andrew Sinard. CC tried to take it back at center, and they will. Mashaw, the only one over the Red Hawk line, but take it back by Green. And then it is Gruden to control in his own end, but he mishandled the puck. And CC, with two four checkers in the zone, is going to take control of this one in the offensive end. But not till Karch Bachman steals a loose puck at the left point. And he gives it over to Ben Lown, who's down the right side with it. Spun and blew a tire in the far circle of CC Ed. Casey Gilling fired a shot right point. They got blocked down. Now Lown skates it up the far side boards. To Andrew Sinard, his pass to the corner went past Gilling. And it comes back to the near side. Shane Gersich, backhand feed all the way around, looking for Phil Nyes at the far hash marks. Casey Gilling got in there as well. And it's Brian Yoon for CC as a little battle ensues along the boards. And Gilling and Yoon right now, it's just a one-on-one. -on -one. Gilling is going to win it. And then we'll take it down the dashers to the far corner. Yoon goes down, but he's able to get the puck up to his teammate, Mason Berg. Now the puck comes out to center, taken over by Rourke Russell. He dumps it in from the red line for Miami. And it's stopped by LeClaire behind his own net. So Christian Blumenshawn will come out of his own end, end with it for CC. His stretch pass to the far blue line is taken over by Eric Middendorf. And then Miami able to control the puck in their own end as they stole it away. They get it out to center. Christian Moe's far side for the Miami bench. Got it stolen away. And this one played in from the red line by Brian Williams out of San Diego. Miami takes it back in their own end. It plays it back to center again. As a cross ice feed here, they're looking for Williams. He gets it in near side red line and deep into the Miami zone. Now Grant Hunt behind his own net. Far side breakout pass. Did not connect with Brian Hawkinson. CC plays it back behind the Red Hawk net. And Orc Russell will pass it to the far hash marks for Dashke. 
Well, that skates it back behind the net, banks it off the near boards, but it's picked up by Bradley at the line. And a shot from the high slot by Willie, couldn't go through. And Scott Corbett finally plays it out to center. As right now, the trouble for Miami is they can't get the puck out of their own end. It's CC doing a good job for checking on the breakout. A clear the backhand pass from behind his net to the near boards. And this one came out to the circle. River Rimshaw waited for a one-timer and blasted it over LeClaire and out of play with 16.39 to go in the first period. Lots of time in the Miami zone here. Miami's going to have to kind of generate some offense here if they want to try to break that streak of not getting in the net before the opposing team. So pretty good opportunity here with Gruden going to face off. It's been nine straight games. The Red Hawks have been scored on first. And when Miami lets the opponent score first this season, they're 1-9-4. and four. When they score first, they're 8-2-0 and oh in games this season. Mm -hmm. well, that's kind of the key. CC with a puck in the offensive zone. It was up in the air, gloved down by Alec Mahalik behind his own net. Far side pass for Gordy Green is up the right side. It chips it in over the Tiger line. Alex LeClaire behind his net, picked up the loose puck, fires it to the far hash marks where it's picked up there by the Tigers. They turn it over and then in front, Karch Bachman tried to fire a shot. LeClaire got it in his pads. Bachman up the near side boards with it and the CCN. Gruden in the near corner. Got checked down there. Now coming away with the puck is Green. Passes a far point for Russell, but his wrist shot got blocked down. And up the right, or near boards rather, CC will play this one all the way down for an icing. As it was Cole McCaskill there to send it all the way down for the Tigers. So the Red Hawks coming off that pretty bad weekend last weekend at home against Minnesota Duluth. Miami losing Friday 4-0, Saturday 3-0. And Colorado College was supposed to play two games against Denver last weekend, but the Friday night game got canceled because of that winter storm. The Denver bus got stuck on its way down to the spring, so they ended up playing a game in Denver on Saturday night, and they tied 4-4. And the last three games for CC have gone to overtime as the puck here is iced by the Red Hawks at center, and the faceoff will come down to the left of Ryan Larkin. And this CC team, you, you can't overlook the fact that they are in the bottom of the NCHA uh, standings, but they've, they're coming in hot. In, in college sports, you've got to believe that um, it's not about when or what, who you're playing, but when you're playing them. And yep. they, they're coming in pretty hot, playing some good teams and taking them to overtime. And Enrico Blasio is saying this week, Miami head coach, that doesn't really matter that we're having this bad stretch right now in January. It matters how we're playing in late February, March. And that will determine our destiny for the season. Phil Nyes down the left side, plays it into the Tiger end. First to it is Cole McCaskill behind his own net. And now it will be Brizola to carry it up out the right side. And he'll fire this one behind Larkin and all the way to the far corner of the Red Hawk end. Loose puck squirts back behind the Miami net. Working after there, Mason Berg on the far side for the Tigers. He'll scan it up to the blue line, but his pass back was taken over by Zach Laval. Extra forward dress tonight for Miami, and he'll take it in over the Tiger line to the far corner. Buck locked up in his skates along the boards as players in there trying to jab at it. Laval won't let loose and finally driven off his right leg by Williams, and then the puck sent back out to center, and Derek Daschke will control for Miami and fired in from the red line. Alex LeClaire stops behind his own net, rifles it off the far boards for Ben Copeland, who plays this one up to one of the captains, and that would be Tanner Aki. He goes cross ice, and a shot for the right circle is saved by Larkin that came in from Mason Berg, one of the other captains as Colorado College leads the shots 3-2 early on. 14-23 to go in the first period. We're scoreless here from Oxford. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources at aarp.org caregiving.
14.23 to go, first period. Colorado College in Miami tied at zero as we're just getting underway in this two game set this weekend from Steve Katie Arena. Alongside Kenny Scherlinger, my name is Patrick Geshen. Thank you for joining us here on this Friday night. As a face off to the left of Ryan Larkin will square it out to center ice and it's taken by the Tigers and they'll fire this one in. Andrew Farney from center takes it behind the Miami net and now it's played up the right boards and Brian Hawkinson tried to chip it up to River Rimshaw, but then it came back to Mahalik, and at the Miami line, Sinard will play it up to Hawkinson, who chips it into the Tiger end. Ben Israel behind the CC net, played it over to Farney, and now up the right board, CC tries to come out of the zone, but they pass there, get tipped back to the near boards, and Andrew Copeland will control for the Tigers, being messed with by River Rimshaw in the near corner of the Tiger end, and then a pass is picked out by Gordy Green behind the CC net. His breakout attempt got picked off for a second. That's set to the near boards. Karch Bachman plays it behind the net. Gordy Green couldn't control the puck cleanly. And then Andrew Farney is going to come up the right side with it. Now it's loose in the left circle. And Karch Bachman had a knuckle puck that he backhanded in over the net. Hawks keep it in the zone. Gordy Green near circle. Skates it up to the left point. Then to the slot. He's got room. And he fired a shot. And a whistle to wide on LeClaire. Grant Hutton back in the lineup tonight after he missed the Saturday night game against Minnesota Duluth, he was a healthy scratch. Buck played all the way back to the Miami end and Rourke Russell, the only one back to get it. We'll skate this one up to the red line and get a far side pass to Hutton, but he lost it in over the line. Miami though keeps it in and a shot fired in on LeClaire. Is gloved down by him with 12.57 to go in the first period. As both teams are really not controlling the puck very well here early on. Very good opportunity, very good chances there for Miami as they're close ones and got a little bit of the roar of the, the crowd that showed up and weathered the storm here. Not much of a storm, but just a bitter cold. <laughs> Outside walking today on campus was very tough. This one won back to the right point. River Rimshaw rifles this one all the way behind the net. Ben Lown will skate up the near half ball with it that stopped and then tried to go back to the corner, but Gonzo met him there and CC able to get it out. They'll fire a cross ice pass over to Trey Bradley and he got messed with at the Miami line, and then Miami's gonna take back over as Colorado College offside. Phil Nice will play this one from the red line, deep it to the Tiger end, Blumenschein behind, he'll get a backhand pass to Yon, who now will skate this one up the left side and out of the zone. Shift it up forward for Derek Dashke for Miami, who takes the far corner and wraps it around the near boards for Graham. Backhand pass out to center, Christian Mose got it there. He's in over the line with Soroki. Mose the shot in the left circle, got deflected wide to the near side, and then CeCe quickly works it back to center. Here's Weston Mashaw, got a feed in the slot, and he fired that one wide after deflected off a Red Hawk stick. Now Mahalik at center for Miami, and played it up to the line, and Christian Mose with a backhand feed. Graham topped the left circle shot, deflected off a stick and over the net. Mashad far boards, and now it's played in back to center by the Tigers. Now it is Gooch, Trevor Gooch at the right point, trying to make a move at the top of the right circle. And Ryan Soroki plays it in from the red line for Miami. And Alex LeClaire stops it behind his own net for CC. He'll skate it up the right side here, and play this one into the Miami end, icing waved off as McCaskill was able to feed it through everybody. Now a turnover behind the Miami net. This is going to be Bernadelli, but he could never get a centering pass off as he had a clean opportunity in about five seconds to stick handle the puck below the goal line, but nobody came in for a pass. Now a two on two the other way for the Tigers. Down the left side is Crookshank. He fired one over the net, and it's gloved down there by Cristiano Versic, and played up the near boards for Corbett, and then Miami couldn't quite get it out of the zone. Versic able to send it back in from the right point. Fork Russell played it behind the net for the Tigers. They've got it in the far corner. Versic skates it up to the left point and fired a shot there. They got tipped in front of the net and patted away by Larkin. Now it's in the far corner. Grant Hutton to the circle. River Rimshaw gave it right back to CC as Yoon will pass it near side for Blumenshine and fires it in from center all the way around the glass into the far boards. Gordy Green trying to flip this one out in front of the Miami bench. Jonathan Gruden didn't quite know it was there. Then Green goes back to the defenseman. Grant Hutton, near side pass to Russell in the middle. Green trying to stick in his way through the circle, but it didn't work. Copeland takes over for CC. Near side pass to Moldendorf, but he tried to feed one to the middle. Take it back there by Gruden. 
Now at the near boards, a three-on-three -three battle ensues. It was in Gruden skates. Now Walkendorf comes away with a puck, and he tried to go with a slot, and they score. The Tigers on the board first. Not a uncommon story for Miami. It was Eric Mindorf who came in from the corner. He was able to get this one to the front of the net. And on the far side, it was Brian Williams who finished it off for CC, getting it past Larkin, who was on the ground. It's 1-0 Tigers, 9.58 left in the first. That was a very slow developing play there. A couple of the Red Hawks seemed to be just kind of watching and waiting for somebody to take it there. And, and CC looked poised to score there. And, and Larkin kind of got fooled there in the crease and couldn't get around to save that. So the Red Hawks find themselves in a familiar place. So again, we'll just reiterate the record as CC comes in over the Red Hawk line again on a fast rush, and they'll play this one with a shot from the near corner that goes off of Larkin's stick. And the play blown dead as Anderson Hart's helmet comes off his head and along the near boards. And we'll get a stoppage here with 9.44 left. Red Hawks 1-9-4 this season when the opponent scores first. And we are going to get a timeout. So 9.44 to go here in the first period. It is 1-0 Colorado College. They get on the board first on the weekend on the goal from Brian Williams. And we'll be back with Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio after this. As humans, we ask ourselves all kinds of questions. But what if we were forced to ask ourselves a question every day that affected the outcome of the most basic things, the most important things in our lives? The question is, what is your sexual orientation or gender identity? And the answer is the difference between keeping your job or getting fired. The answer is the difference between staying in your home or getting evicted. The answer is the difference between receiving medical treatment or not. Because in 31 states, it's legal to discriminate against people based on their answer to this question. LGBT Americans have the right to say, I do, but they don't have the same basic rights as everyone else. Get the facts at beyondido.org. Brought to you by the Gill Foundation and the Ad Council. 911, what is your emergency? My kid shot himself. All right, where's the wounds? 911, what's your emergency? Please help. My son shot his... Ryan Larkin, 9.44 to go in the first period, and Colorado College has the 1-0 lead. Casey Gillen kicked out of the faceoff for Miami, so Ben Lown will take his place. And it's won back by the Red Hawks behind the Tiger net. Andrew Sennard played a near side for Phil Nyes, who had trouble getting it out of the zone, but finds a man open cross ice, and that's Mahalik, who skates it up to the red line and fires it into the CC zone. Find the net, Phil Nyes for Miami in the offensive end. Has it for hash marks. Tries to reverse direction, try to skate it up to the top of the circle. LeClaire made the save on his shot. And then it was kind of loose there in the slot for a second and then cleared away by the Tigers who have a chance the other way, but broken up there by Siddharth. Trey Bradley, far side boards, got it picked off. Now in the slot, a bouncing puck cleared to the dashers by Gilling. Now at the far side, Bradley misplayed a puck and Siddharth takes over and Casey Gilling behind the net reverses right back to him. Siddharth. Near side pass for Nice. Backhand feed for Mahalik, who skates it up to the red line and dumps into the CCN. Blumenshine in there against Gordy Green. Green trying to muscle his way for the puck along the far boards. And now it comes behind the net, and a loose puck picked up by Bachman in the left circle. He'll cycle it back to the corner. Green to the line. Russell fired a shot. Went off the stick of LeClaire and out of play on the far side. And play is stopped here with 8.36 to go in the first period. Shot 6 5 CC. The Red Hawks are just going to have to get pucks to the net here. Just try to get maybe a dumb luck goal to really help them out. But they've come close and have put some pretty good shots on goal. Just some of a little bit high, a little bit wide. But we just got to keep throwing pucks at the net and see what happens. And the face off to the right of LeClaire won by the Tigers and thrown out to center. Rourke Russell played it far boards. Farney came up with it. Now Mashad dumps it into the corner and behind the Miami net. He'll skate it to the near side and up the near boards. Mashad. Gave it off to Gruden, take it back there by Hutton, and he misplayed it, gave it away in the circle. Bernadelli, the backhand feed, loose it front, and Gooch, rather, could not finish as he had a wide open look at it in front of the net. Now Miami down the right side, Karch Bachman, will skate it behind the Tiger net now. 
And has it at the near hash marks. Got hit down by you. Now Gordy Green comes up the near board. So then he had a wide open chance to the net, but a good poke check by Mashad, who played it behind the net to the corner. Now Yoon up the right side, played it back to center, past the stick of Dashke. Gooch feeds Bernadelli, wide open, look, and he scores. Trevor Gooch had the puck along the near boards. He backhand passed it over to Bernadelli, who took over in the slot, and the Miami defense had a major breakdown there. He came wide open in on Larkin and shot it up in the air, passed him on the glove side, and it's 2 nothing. Dangerous territory here for Miami is you don't want to let this get out of control. We saw last week when they let three goals in with about with only a and only about a minute and thirty. So you just got to stay uh, poised here and get back on defense. Well, for Miami, this is obviously not the start you want after a tough weekend against Duluth. Ryan Hawkinson played it in from center. River Rimshaw, far corner, backhand feed over to Scott Corbett as he is pushed up against the boards by Mason Berg. Battle still here in the corner. Hawkinson, the backhand play. Corbett comes away from the corner with it, skates it behind the Tiger net, trying to wrestle away from Berg, takes it back far corner. Corbett still with the puck, playing it in front. LeClaire made a save there on a shot from the far boards. Now River Rimshaw. As a near side up to the line, Sinard fired it off a leg, and that's going to go out of play off of Mason Berg, who blocked it with a shin guard. And the faceoff will be to the right of Leclerc with 6.53 to go in the first period. So the Red Hawks already down 2 0 here in the opening frame against the team that's at the basement of the NCHC standings. And the Red Hawks come into the weekend. Sixth in the NCHC with 12 points. They stand alone in the sixth place spot. Buck laid behind the CC net. Ryan Soroki right circle. will try to spin around shot. They got blocked by Zach Laval. Taking it back is the Tigers. And this one played far side for Maldendorf. He got cross checked from behind, but no call by the referees as Monty Graham came in. He's got the puck right circle. Try to feather one through the skates of Ryan Soroki, but it didn't quite work. On a grand far corner with it. He's battled against there by Blumenshine to get it to the slot. Ro uh, Soroki rather fell down and couldn't get a shot off. Now Copeland up the right side against Russell. And the puck played back to center. And CC takes this one over. Copeland down the right side. Fed it to the middle. Taken back by Rourke Russell. And he's got it left circle and plays this one up to Hutton. Where the puck will go back to the CCN. And Zach Berzola plays it to center and beyond, and this is gonna be an icing call here against the Tigers, as Trey Bradley was chasing into the zone and he thought he had his man beat, but the face off will come all the way back down to the Tiger end instead. So 5.59 to go in the first period. Shots right now, 8-6 in favor of the Tigers. And let's see, the faceoff now is going to come out to center. So that means the referees decided that it was not, or it shouldn't be an icing, rather. So now they bring the faceoff to center ice instead of the Tiger end. It'll be Conzo against Casey Gilling. And the puck dropped, and Miami wins the draw. Derek Dashke plays the near side, chipped in by Phil Nyes. Alex Clare behind his own net for the Tigers. Far side pass, Bradley left it open in the middle. The puck squirts out to center, and Casey Gilling able to steal it away from Conzo. Near side pass to Phil Nyes. He has room up the left side, dumps it in at the blue line. And the puck goes behind the net for Ben Lown, but Nyes could not catch the pass. Nyes here has the puck along the near boards. Bradley trying to poke away at it. Now it is Casey Gilling up the near boards with it to the middle. Phil Nyes couldn't grab it. Top of the circle, a shot from Crowder got blocked down immediately. And now Gilling comes away with it from the corner. Skates it behind the net. And to the near side boards. Pass up to Bachman who gulped one wide. Now it's Lown. Gave it off to Bachman. Left circle, it was stationary. Got it stolen away and CC. We'll skate this one back up to center. Wilkie gave it over to Conzo. Now Wilkie in over the Red Hawk line. Far side, they get a shot in. It's poked away from Larkin. Conzo, the spin around shot, and he scores. 
That was a really weird play. Ryan Larkin had the puck for what seemed to be a good two seconds. The whistle never blew, and then CC with a mad scramble in front of their own net, or from the Miami net, rather, able to score. As Conzo fired a spin around shot with Larkin on the ground. And it's 3 0 Colorado College in the first. Gonna have to look here how short the leash is gonna be with Larkin as Wolski is over there kind of looking over. I think they're gonna leave him in, but tough break for the Red Hawks. Is it could have been blown dead there because it, it seemed like he had it for a, a brief second, but it didn't seem like he knew where it was. So I think that was where his whistle didn't come in. So Karsh Bachman will take it from Miami in the left circle, CCN and fire right in the breadbasket of LeClaire. As Jonathan Gruden got shoved into the Tiger net after the play, and we're going to get a timeout here. 4.47 to go in the first period, and the Tigers lead it already by a score of 3 to nothing. And you're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. 180 over 111, and I had a stroke. I couldn't speak or walk. 150 over 90, and I had a stroke. This is what high blood pressure sounds like. You might not feel its symptoms, but the results from a stroke are far from silent. Get back on your treatment plan or talk with your doctor to create a plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhpp.org. I had to toe. Everything's changed. Brought to you by the American Stroke Association, American Medical Association, and the Ad Council. To protect his family from disaster, Steve used his camera phone. Done. By taking pictures of his important documents, Steve can always have them stored online. Learn more simple disaster prep tips at ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. Three, two, one. Oh, no. Which, Which button am I... Uh... When every second counts, you can't wing it. Uh, guys, a uh, little help up here. In a home fire, you may have less than two minutes to get out. So make a family home fire escape plan. Then practice home fire drills at least twice a year so everyone knows what to do when they hear. Prepare your family. They stop to the right of Alex LeClaire. Jonathan Gruden will take it against Weston Mashad. And the faceoff won back by the Tigers. Yoon to it first, and he'll play it up the near side boards where it's stopped by Bernadelli. And then Mashad gets it and fires it to the middle, and Gooch plays it out to center. Andrew Sennard in his own end, cross ice feed to Alec Mahalik, plays it behind the Red Hawk net. Sennard returns it in the near corner. And Mahalik trying to skate out of the ice, skate away from the Miami zone with a puck. And he'll backhand this one off the near boards and give it off to Blumenshine, who's up the right side with it. Blumenshine played it in the corner, this one behind that, wrapped around by Sennard to the near hash marks for Bachman. And a backhand feed back behind the net for Sennard. He plays it off the near boards and back to center and CC controls again. Bachman along the near boards. Rimshaw couldn't get to the line soon enough and the puck played back to the Red Hawk in. In front of their own bench, Karch Bachman takes control and fires it in from the red line. And LeClaire plays it behind the Tiger of Cage. And this one's sent back to center. Grant Hutton, cross ice feed with Savet's partner work Russell, tipped in there by Rimshaw but not deep in the Tiger end. And they will play this one all the way back down the ice for no icing. Mark Russell picked it up in his own end near corner. Grant Hutton played it up far side of Hawkinson to the middle. Corbett couldn't control it at center. And Ben Israel here will play this one off the boards and back to the Miami defensive pair as Grant Hutton will get a backhand feed across for Mark Russell. Plays it up the near board. Scott Corbett chipped it into the Tiger zone. This one is played by Brizola. He's got it behind the goal line in his own end. Now Gorsuch far boards with it for the Tigers. Here's Monty Graham, wraps this one around the boards. And it is Soroki here up the near circle with it. He'll fire a wick shot that goes wide. Crowder in from the line with it. Couldn't be pinched off there by Versic. Far side boards controlled by Monty Graham. He rips one wide left of the CC net. Dashke kept it in at the left point. Bernadelli plays this one up to the right side now. It's off the skate of Bray Crowder, and then CC able to take it back as Versich backhands the puck off the boards. And Crowder lost it at center. Gorsuch down the left side and over the Red Hawk line. Fired a shot. Nice blocker saved by Larkin. We got run into and lost his stick, which is sitting a few feet behind the net. Puck cleared back to center and taken here by Brizola. And he will wait here behind the CC net. 
2.13 to go first period. Larkin has a stick back at the other end. Brazil a long stretch pass to the middle, taken here by Copeland. He'll skate it in over the Red Hawk line and lost in the far circle as it got taken away from him. Now Casey Gilling in the far corner. Lays this one across. It was taken away by Tanner Hockey and then CC able to get it back to the near boards. Trevor Yoon right circle up to the line. The bouncing puck couldn't be handled by Blumenshine. Yoon gloves it back to center. They're going to say it's a hand pass. And as Blumenshine took over there and touched it up, and the faceoff will come all the way back down to the Tiger end with a 1.44 to go in the first period. So the Tigers coming off that one game last weekend, the tie against Denver. Next weekend, they're back home to host Minnesota Duluth. And the Red Hawks hit the road next weekend for a series with St. Cloud State. That will not be very easy. <laughs> Mark Russell plays it in from center off the neutral zone draw. Alex LeClaire gave it off to his man behind the net, which is Bernadelli, and then they play it back to center. Trey Bradley off the benches, far boards. Now come to the Red Hawk and Rick Russell in his own near circle will play this one up the near boards. And Karch Bachman gave it off to Gordy Green in the Tigerette. Green blows a tire in the corner, but Gruden was there to pick up the loose puck. He'll skate it up the left side. Will spin around and fire a shot off a stick that goes to the far corner. And it's played here by Trey Bradley, who has it far boards and goes cross ice with it to clear to center. Jonathan Gruden, near side, couldn't catch the pass at the Tiger line. Now Russell, the cross ice feed over for Grant Hutton, who plays it to the middle for Gruden, and then the near side play to Bachman, who chips it into the Tiger end. And Gordon Green here to chase after it behind the goal line, but it'll be Gooch to skate it out the left side for the Tigers, and he plays it in for an icing. As the puck was in midair when it went past Bernadelli at center, but he couldn't make contact with it, and the clock stops with 37.4 seconds to go in the first, and doors being slammed down at the Miami bench. This first intermission might be a blessing in disguise for Miami. It gives them a chance to regroup in the locker room and maybe get a quick goal here to get some momentum going into the first intermission. A soft for the Tiger end, won by the Red Hawks. Alec Mahalik dumped it in from the right point. Now played here by Brian Hawkinson. He skated out from the near corner with it. And fired a shot in on LeClaire, who gloves it down with 27.4 seconds to go in the first. And that shot getting through to the CC net for a while there. Red Hawks uh, pucks were not getting, they were getting blocked. And it kind of looked just like uh, the Minnesota Duluth series last weekend where they were blocking shots left to right. And guys were all over it, laying it all out on the line. So Red Hawks getting shots on goal. Shot fired in there from the left circle after the faceoff. Clubbed away by LeClaire, now a possible two on one the other way as Mashad came in over the line. We have a Red Hawk down at the other end of the ice. And in the far circle, River Rimshaw is holding his right arm and not moving it at all. And he's gonna skate off the ice under his own power, met by the trainer at the CC Blue Line. And Brian Hawkins will pick up his glove in the far circle. Rimshaw not moving his right arm at all. He is a graduate transfer from Dartmouth. And playing on the Red Hawks top line tonight as a center out of Huntington Woods, Michigan. And he'll skate off and go right back to the locker room with 17.9 seconds left of the first. It kind of looks like it might be his shoulder. Maybe he threw yeah. it out there. He must have been hit along the far boards. Didn't see the play happen, but he was down and they blew the play dead as soon as Miami got possession of the puck. So that's not a loss you want with it being Rimshaw's only year here for the Red Hawks. Mishad backhand play to Yoon. Near side Bernadelli. Off the left side, Mark Russell couldn't grab the puck in the Red Hawk and it's played back to center. And the horn will sound to end the first period festivities. Colorado College leads the Miami Red Hawks three to nothing after 20 minutes. The shot's 11 to nine in favor of the Tigers, who were the, clearly the dominant team in that period, and Miami coming out flat for another time, Kenny. And like I said, they're just gonna have to go into the intermission here and just regroup in there. And It's gonna be gut check time here for the Red Hawks, and they're gonna have to look each other in the eyes and just keep on battling. I mean, we've seen crazier things here at Goggin than a, uh, coming back from a three zip lead. So they're just gonna have to just regroup, just simply. just. Act like the game is 0-0 again and just try to get the pucks in the net. 
So we will take a quick break here for the first intermission and be back with a second. 3 nothing Colorado College after 20 minutes. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. I'm going to start.
Welcome back to Goggin Arena for this second period between the Red Hawks and the Tigers of Colorado College. Face off started there by the Red Hawks as Patrick Eschen. Eschen walks right back into the booth and he's going to take it from here. All right, puck in the center ice circle now. Brian Hawkins plays it in behind the CC net. Alex LeClaire will wrap this one around the near side boards. Hawkins in at the right hash marks. Going to play it deeper to the corner. And now CC with a puck behind the net. And they'll play it up to far side. Gonzo got the pass. He's up the left side with it. Into the Red Hawk end in the center. He passed looking for Bradley, but he couldn't catch it as he was coming in the slot. Now at the far boards, Dork Russell taking over. And a wraparound goal will be scored by Bradley as he stole it away from Russell in the far corner. Bradley skated behind the Red Hawk net and slid it past the right paddle Arkin. And just... 41 seconds into the second period, Colorado College now has a 4-0 lead. So right after the period break when Miami was supposed to get a bunch of momentum back, they did not, and the Tigers add another one to the total. And the Steve Katie Arena crowd shaking their heads right now, and Rico Blasi just staring into space, and now we're going to see the goaltending change, Kenny. As four goals, the magic number again for Ryan Larkin, who gets pulled from his second straight start. And Jordan Uhelski will appear in his third straight game for Miami, or fourth straight game, rather, for Miami. You got a feel for Ryan there, as uh, you know he's trying his best out there, but Red Hawks really not helping him out as much as they really could. So we'll see if Jordan Uhelski can come in and uh, have a solid uh, performance as he did when he came in last Friday. So Yuhelski stops it behind the Miami net, and the Red Hawks here have given up 11 straight goals to their opponents throughout this weekend and last weekend. So they've been outscored 11 to nothing over the past three games, including this one. Puck at center now, CC controls, Bernadelli, the back can't be, and Michaud to the circle try to go back to him, but he couldn't quite catch the pass. Now it comes to the near corner and played here by Gordon Green. Skates it up the right side off the skate of Hutton and it goes deep into the Tiger end. Or it's played here by Bernadelli and he plays it to the near side looking for McCaskill. Now Mashad has it at center up the left side. Gooch plays it back to the top of the circle and then the puck comes loose along the near boards and played here by McCaskill who will misfire that one. It was taken back by Lown. Miami in over the Tiger line. Lown right circle, trying to feed one across. Nice play by Farney, who was sliding on his stomach and able to block the pass from going through. Now Casey Gilling up the right side with it. Will take a tour of the Miami end. He'll circle now back to the left point and his pass to the middle went to nobody. Taken back by CC. they'll clear it out to center, but Casey Gilling quickly on it for Miami. Ben Lown played it in from the red line, or at least tried to. CC gets control and fires it all the way back down the ice. For an icing call on the Tigers. Was 17.38 to go here in the second period. And something to notice here, we haven't seen a penalty at all tonight uh, for both squads as all four of those goals from Colorado College have been at full strength. To see if Miami can at least get a, on the power play here. Maybe we can uh, let a little fire under them. Zach Laval won the draw back. Christian Moe skates it up the near boards, played it up to Bernadelli, far side feet for Berg. He's in over the line with it. And now Berg at the right point will backhand this one to the corner. Rourke Russell wraps it around the far side and this is gonna come all the way back down the ice. But they're gonna wave the icing as they say Farney had a chance to play it at the far point in the Miami end. Farney banks it off the high glass. Crookshank stops it at the line for Versich. He's in over the Miami line and now it is Played here by Berg, far side pass to Jan, who fired that one from the right point and blocked by Mose. Now the puck in the far corner, Berg almost took it over and now Versich has it at center. And a backhand feed across the ice for Blumenschein, who gets it up to Berg with a wide open room down the left side, but he never quite caught the pass. And an icing call whistled here against the Tigers with 16.52 to go in the second. So the faceoff will be to the left of Alex LeClaire. And for Jordan Uhelski appearing in his ninth game of the season, 2.26 goals against average and a safe percentage 
of 922 coming in on the season. Scott Corbett has the puck behind the CC net up to the left point for a rip shot. Fires the shot in. And a glove save by LeClaire, and that will stop play with 16.42 to go. And a good thing to see River Ripshaw back on the ice after what looked like he probably dislocated his shoulder. That's what we thought, but he's back in there, and he fired a hard shot on LeClaire. Yeah, I was about to say, and I, I think that's exactly what it is, and they probably just took him back in the locker room and popped it right back in, and River being a tough guy just wants to play and get the most out of this game here as uh, this is his last season of college hockey, so he's got to make the most of it. Him and Uhelski in the same spot. Uhelski coming from Alabama Huntsville last year. Rimshaw coming in from Dartmouth College. And both of them playing in their fifth year of eligibility as a senior. This puck played by a high stick by Miami and the faceoff be a neutral ice. The Perico Blasi squad has got to be a head scratcher tonight. And after what was a bad weekend last weekend, they thought that the approach to practice this week would be a little bit better. And they've come up short so far, down 4 nothing with 16 and a half to go in the second period. I mean, took the day off on Monday, and then Tuesday, they came out and they played a tennis ball scrimmage. No practice or really anything like that. No drills or whistles or they just came out and they played a scrimmage to have fun. And Blasey trying to argue that that was a way for this team to stay engaged, excited to come to the rink, but the new approach not working in the short term. And there's a puck here in the Miami end, gloved down by Copeland in the right circle. And on behind the net, CC trying to control it and a little battle ensues as still no penalties yet to be called. Copeland just got shoved over by Hutton. They won't raise an arm. And the puck out to center as Versich lays a hard hit on Sennard, fires boards in the Miami end, and Sennard will skate away without his stick. Puck stopped by Uhelski behind his own net. Hutton here will grab it for the Red Hawks and slowly drive back. The shot's only 12-10 in favor of Colorado College, so they've only had two more shots in Miami. Hutton plays it to the near side. Crowder far side pass, taking it right back by the Tigers. Miami cannot move the puck at all tonight. CC in over the Red Hawk line. There's a shot that's saved by Uhelski that came in from Konzo. And Al Bachman behind his own net for the Red Hawks will pass this one back for Crowder. And Bray Crowder will skate it at center and play this one off the far boards to Gruden. Gordy Green couldn't quite get the edge on Trey Bradley. Off the right side, here come the Tigers. This is Conzo in over the line, but the puck didn't come across. And CC will have to play this one back to center and beyond as McCaskill will go across ice over for Brazola. Wilkie near side boards, back end play up to Konzo, who chips it in to the Miami end. Alec Mahalik behind the net for the Red Hawks, will reverse direction, it's skated up the right side. Dishes off to Karch Bachman, cross ice feed at center, Cordy Green in over the Tiger line, shot from the right circle, was pad saved by LeClaire. Rimshot keeps it in at the left point, and his shot goes behind the net, and back to the near boards. Jonathan Gruden was on it for the Red Hawks, it's Cleared all the way back to center through the air by CC. Bernadelli to it first for the Tigers in the Miami end. Near circle, Rimshaw lays a hit on him in the corner. Gooch was in there as well. Blumenshaw tried to play it in for Lown. And on the puck back to center in Casey Gilling will skate it in over the Tiger line, left side. Gilling to Nye's left circle, wide open look, but Michon was there to block it. Now Casey Gilling far side will fire it in off a of shin guard. And it comes all the way back down the ice. No icing whistle here. Grant Hutton to it first for Miami in the near circle. Played it out to center. Casey Gilling couldn't grab it. Woman shy near side will play this one to Rourke Russell and the other team. We're going to get our first penalty of the game here for interference. And it's going to be against the Red Hawks and Casey Gilling as he held up Bashad along the near board. So that brings us to a timeout. 14 minutes to go. In the second period, it's 4 nothing Colorado College. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. A ranger station. I'd like to report a bear hug. Okay. I put out my camp. Okie bear. Status update. I'm going to let you go now. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. Oh my god, I feel so sluggish after that greasy pizza from our lunch meeting. I know, I can't believe they feed us pizza week after week. 
They should at least care about our health. After all, they give us health insurance. I know we don't work at Google, but they should have something better. You know what? I heard about this new office catering business from my sister-in-law. I think it's called Office Eats? Building relationships during recovery from mental and substance use disorder. Four nothing your score, 14 minutes to go in the second period and the face off to the right of Jordan Uhelski, one back by CC. Wilkie had it at the near point, but he couldn't quite take it over. Now Crookshank has it for the Tigers. As Miami has turned the puck over a lot tonight. Wilkie cross ice feed, Crookshank from the far circle. His shot got deflected to the near corner. Now Yoon has it left point, far side pass. Crookshank tried again, and he fired it to the same spot. Now Wilkie left point, trying to stick handle his way past Monty Graham, and this one given back to River Ripshaw, plays it off the top of the glass, and it falls out of play. The penalty against Casey Gilling, he got a two minute minor for interference, and 129 to go on that penalty, which is the first issued to either team in the game. So face off here comes back down to the Miami end, and it will be to the right of Uhelski again. Rocks moving left to right across your radio. In a second, Lumenshine left point, cross ice feed, looking over for Eric Middendorf. Lumenshine now at the near point. It's her turn feed, cross ice feed. He found Berg there. And CC working the puck in, and they almost scored. And let's see here the puck loose in the slot, and CC gets another shot off, and Uhelski able to cover. That puck came in. There's about Four bodies in front of the net. Copeland skated it from the near side, and it sat loose in the crease for a good five seconds before anybody got to it. CC had a few other shot opportunities, but nothing doing there, and 101 to go on the power play. That's what you would call a, a yard sale there, right <laughs> in the crease. Golowski really uh, had to stay on his feet there and was on his belly for a while there. That puck was... I don't think it could have got any closer no. to being a goal. So I think they're going to take a look at it here. So That puck was sitting right on the line, and it was sitting in the blue paint for about three seconds. The puck kind of just made its way over to the goal line, and somewhat from Miami got a stick on it, kind of batted it out of there, and then CC had a few other shots. So you get a look at that play when the puck was almost across the line, and the referee's sitting in front of the monitor right now. From up here, it didn't quite look like the puck went in the net. It looked like it was sitting right on the line when they snapped it away. And the referees right now taking a look at the play on the overhead angle, and we're able to look at the monitor that they're looking at too. And I'm too far away to see exactly if the puck crossed the line or not. But 13-1 to go in the second period, and if the goal counts, it would be 5-0 Colorado College. Tigers have come out and played well, but Miami has played worse. As the official still looking at the play on the monitor, Red Hawks have made a goalie change. Jordan Uhelski is in after Ryan Larkin started. as the officials again looking at it here. So there might be one play that possibly says the puck went in over the line. There might be another argument that there was goaltender interference on the play if the puck does cross the line. Yeah, lots of things were going on there. And uh, it's gonna take a while there for them to sort it out, I think. I noticed the officials were looking at the overhead angle, the camera above the net and they were searching at that for a good chunk of time, and now they're looking at this, the main camera angle that's on the near side here, next to us, and the, just the regular camera you typically see on a TV broadcast. So they may be determined if the puck crossed the line or not, and then if there was possible goaltender interference, referees have gotten up from their stoop, and they were gonna give the call no goal. So Miami catches a break on the review, but the game still remains 4-0 in favor of the Tigers. So they say no conclusive evidence, and the call will stand. So, oh, sorry. Go ahead. 
That might be Miami's biggest victory of the night. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. So face off here at the left circle. Still plenty of time though. Miami can get something going here. It's just not been the Red Hawks night up to this point. 13 one to go in the second period. Up behind the goal line, it's wrapped around to the near boards. Played here by Copeland and Bachman will shovel this one out of the Miami end. And it's stopped there by LeClaire, who will give it back to Blumenshine for the Tigers. Blumenshine in over the center line, far side pass, Mashad shifted in over the goal line into the corner. Now at the left point, Berg. Cross ice feed over to Copeland. Far side look for CC. Now Berg has it and will fire this one off a body in front and in over the net out of play. So that will stop the clock here with 12.28 to go in the second. And 28 seconds to go in the KC Gilling interference minor. The shots right now 14 to 11 in favor of the Tigers. Face off to the left of Yohelski. Crookshank takes it against Nyes. It's a clean win for CC. They get it back to the right point. Trevor Yoon tried to skate it down the right side and was messed there by Lown, but he's able to get it to Trey Bradley, who circles back and walks it across the line. Bradley backhand feed. Wilkie tried to play it into the far corner. Now take it back in the slot. Nyes will backhand this one back out and down the ice. And with five seconds to go in the minor to Casey Gilling, that will pretty much do it for the Colorado College power play. We're going to get it up over the Red Hawk line and up the far side. A shot ripped over the net by Chris Wilkie. Now Versich down the left wing boards for CC. He's got it in the corner. Backhand pass to Wilkie and taken back here by Ben Lown, who fires it in from center across corner dump it. Played off the glass by the Tigers. That center went off Karge Bachman. Miami plays it back to the offensive end. Green had it. Now it's given off to Gruden. The backhand feed looking again for Green. Now Karch Bachman in the corner. Trying to make a move there, but it got stripped away from him. Oki out to the far side. Center ice taken from him, though, by Miami. And Hutton here will trip up at center and give it near side for Karch Bachman in the corner. Bachman skates it up the near boards. He gets pitched up against the boards by Oki. Now Hutton in the slot, gave it off to Gruden, the bouncing puck, and Gordy Green almost finished on the play as all three Red Hawks were in front of the net, but none of them could get it past LeClaire. Now a massive battle along the Dasher end boards with 10.50 to go in the period, one by CC, and he'll take it up the right side and pass it across. Oki in over the Red Hawk line, backhand feed to Perzola, who fired it in, and it went to the far corner off of Uhelski. Now played by Bachman. Near side feed, River Rimshot, trying to chip it past Farney. Mashad for the Tigers. We'll get it to Williams, who had a wide open lane to the net along the far side, and he shoots and scores. And he beat Jordan Uhelski with a top shelf wrist shot from the far circle in over the glove side. And it's five, nothing Colorado College with 10.23 to go in the second period. Pretty good breakaway there, opportunity, and they capitalize as we haven't seen any of that from the Red Hawks in quite some time. Just gonna have to keep battling through it because this can be disheartening for the Red Hawks. It's been an absolute blowout so far tonight. Blumenshine passes it up to Gooch. Backhand feed for Mashad. Bernadelli in over the Red Hawk line. Played it from the left circle. It's sticked away by Uhelski. Mercer Moe's up the left side with it. Played it forward. It's chipped into the zone by Laval. Blumenshine with a near corner. CCN. Played it off to Yoon. Corbett laid a check on him. Far corner. Ryan Sorokin in there as well. Battling with Weston Mashad. Now Corbett in the corner will play this one behind the net. Shot backhand feed. Now far side pass for Gooch. He's up the far boards with it. Finds Blumenshine two on one the other way. A centering pass across to get from a shot. And nice stick there by Crowder knocked it away. That pass gets through. Might be a 6-0 lead. Yeah. Corbett at center plays it in over the Tiger line. And Miami gets it deep in the offensive zone. But not before CC able to work the breakout. 
And Mashaw, the pass to center, finds Gooch there, who fires it in from the line. Uhelski gloved it down, will keep on playing. Hutton along the far side, skates it up off the benches. He's got it back at center, and the backhand feed over to Monty Graham, who plays it behind the net for Hawkinson. Brian Hawkinson got pitched up against the boards. He's got it now in front of the net and try to wrap around play there. Uh, nobody could get anything going for Miami. Now Hutton for a point. Slap shot for the line. He scores. <laughs> and Miami will get on the board for the first time in three games as Grant Hutton, just a simple slap shot, able to get it low off the ground past LeClaire. And Miami on the board tonight with 8.52 to go in the second period. It's 5-1 Colorado College. And it's been quite some time since uh, <laughs> Goggin Arena, Steve Cady Arena, has uh, heard that horn and the Red Hawks been able to cheer in uh, about a month, more than a month. <laughs> so uh, it's got to be refreshing. Maybe this can uh, just pump some life into this Red Hawk hockey team. Yeah, Miami hasn't scored a goal at home since December 1st, 2018 against St. Cloud State. So that is the first goal Miami scored at home in the year 2019. <laughs> Penn Loud wraps the puck around behind the net for Phil Nyes, who's got it now near corner, centering feet in front, couldn't find Rourke Russell, the defenseman streaking down from the line. Trey Bradley couldn't play it forward at center. Glove down by Nyes and over the Tiger line. Plays it to the near corner. Casey Gilling comes away with it for Miami. Plays it back down low for Lown. And he was trying to wrestle his way across there. Now Gilling along the near boards. Now has it in the corner. Has it behind the Miami net now as he skated up far side. Gilling with it again. Far corner with the puck. Centering pass in front. Mahal got a wide open cage, but couldn't quite get strong enough on his stick to deflect it to the corner. Now Farney played it off high glass, but not out of the zone. Bachman to Green near uh, hash marks, and Bachman fired it from the right circle, but it went off a blocker. This Red Hawk hockey team on offense looks a lot different now after that goal. Yep. Arch Bachman up the far side. Left circle fired a shot in, and a nice save by LeClaire. He holds on to it with 7.29 to go in the second period. So Miami on the board, and they score their first goal in two weekends with Grant Hutton's slap shot goal from the point. And it's 5-1 Colorado College. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy. So we show them how, with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be shared with friends or family. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. Off to the right of Alex LeClaire, 5-1 Colorado College leads it. As Gordy Green got the puck in the far circle and lost it, he and Bachman both went down, so a three on two the other way. Blumenshine tosses it far side. Now in the middle, a Crookshank tried to fire off a shot, and they steal it back from Miami. Crookshank leveled there in the far corner by Green. Jonathan Gruden has it near boards for the Red Hawks. Arch Bachman trying to get in there and work it around. Now Blumenshine has it out at center. And rifles this one all the way back around the glass behind Uhelski. Grant Hutton in the near corner with it. He has the goal tonight from Miami. Plays it up the right side boards. And all the way back to the CCN. Blumenshine there for the Tigers. Gave it off to Berg at center. And he passes across to Jan, who fires one in off the boards behind Uhelski. Nishad had it behind the net. Gruden, far side pass for Bachman, who skates it up the left side. 
Now Bachman in over the Tiger line, backhand pass over to Hawkinson, who waited in the far corner. And now Mashad gets it back and plays it to the near side for Gooch. Gooch in over the Red Hawk line, centering pass to Mashad in the slot. He couldn't grab it there. Now Mashad up the left side, boards for the Tigers. And Scott Corbett with it in front of the CC bench. The cross ice feed looking for Hawkinson. It went off his skate at center, so no icing. And the puck goes deep within the Tigerette. Back here behind the net. Hawkinson tried a little wraparound play, denied by the stick of LeClaire. Corbett up to the left point. A rim shot fired a hard slap shot that went off Bernadelli in a circle. Now it's wrapped around to the right point. Crowder played it to the corner, couldn't reach Corbett. Laval now far side boards with a puck. Will wait, has plenty of room, went up to the line, or at least trying to look for Crowder, but the puck got tipped by Gooch. And will come all the way back to the Miami end where Uhelski will make the backhand play to River Rimshaw, and he'll give it off to Crowder in the right corner. Crowder gets it up to center, tipped in there by Corbett. It goes behind the net to Soroki, who will kick this one to the right corner. And now coming up the left side with it, Waldendorf, but he couldn't quite get clean control. And the puck back to center, Mahalik plays it far side. Chipped in down the left wing boards by Sinard. And the far corner, Laval, first to it for Miami of the CCN. Farney there was battling with him, so is Brian Yoon. And also in the battle is Ryan Soroki as they still wrestle for it along the far boards. Puck finally played along the near dashers to Mahalik. He's got it at the right point. Little play behind the net. He was looking for a deflection off the dashers. It came right back to LeClaire. And he's able to cover with Soroki coming in looking for the rebound. And we get a timeout. 4.50 to go in the second period. Colorado College 5, Miami 1. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting a Teenager Learning the Lingo. Hundo P. Hundo P. Adjective. Short for being 100% sure or certain. As in, if we get a puppy, I'll Hundo P. always walk it. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. A ranger station. I'd like to report a bear hug. Okay. I put out my campfire and Smokey Bear hugged me. So you drowned the fire, you stirred it, drowned it again, and felt that it was cold? Uh-huh. Yeah, but he's just letting you know you did good. Bear hug from Smokey Bear. Status update. I'm going to let you go now. There are many ways to start a fire, but one sure way to put it out. Learn how you can do your part at SmokeyBear.com. Sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service Ad Council and your state forester. Oh my God, I feel so sluggish after that greasy pizza from our lunch meeting. I know. I can't believe they feed us pizza week after week. Five one Tigers, 4.50 to go. Second period. Face off to the left of LeClaire. And Casey Gilling tried to win it back, but couldn't quite do it. And the puck here up along the near boards for Trey Bradley, who backhands the puck out to center. And it's chipped in to the Miami end by Brian Yoon. And then wrapped around to the near boards, looking for Ben Lown. Puck comes up to the right side. Phil Nyes, backhand centering feed to Casey Gilling. He's down the left boards with it. And over the Tiger line, and he centered a pass in front. And Phil Nyes tried to tip it, but it went over the net. He is wide open in front of LeClaire. Bloom and shine, far corner. Buck squirts around to Bradley in the near side. And then wraps it around to the right wing. Bloom and shine has it deep in his own end. We'll give a cross ice feed to center. Bradley up the left side with it, into the circle. Fanned on the pass there. Looking for Willie. Bradley again with it here for CC. Now Conzo at the top of the left circle. Plays it around to Wilkie. Russell will pinch him up against the near boards. And now they get it back to the left point for McCaskill. He fired a shot that went off about three sticks before Uhelski got his glove on it. Now it's at the left point again. McCaskill fired a shot in, deflected to the far corner. Wilkie picks up for CC and fired it across the slot. Nobody home. McCaskill left point now. Plays it to the circle. Copeland to the slot. Far side pass and a slap shot there for the Tigers, but they couldn't get one off of Uhelski. Gruden plays it to the middle. Bachman over to Green. Passes it to the near side, but in front of LeClaire, nobody was home for Miami. Now it's played out to Middledorf. And he will take this one in over the Tiger line, or 
taken over the Red Hawk line rather, but he stopped there. Bonnie Graham, far side pass for Corbett in the far circle, looking back for Dashke, but he misplayed it and now has it to Corbett. In front of the net, it was Monty Graham, but he couldn't quite finish on the shot as the puck was rattling around on him. And CZ plays it off the high glass and getting hit there was Copeland. Now Miami with it in their own end. Sinard played it up to Hawkinson. He will play this one behind the Tiger net. And we had a big hit in front of the penalty box, but nothing was called. Now the shot fired in from the line, blocked down by CC. They're in over the Miami line now, and a centering pass got blocked and a skate in the far circle. We're down to 2.26 to go in the second period. Alec Mahalik skates it up the right wing boards. Now Hawkinson for Miami. Plays this one out to center, Farney. Batted it out of the air and played it right in on Uhelski from the red line, and Crookshank there quickly for CC. And Uhelski covers with 2.14 to go in the second. Shots right now 18 to 16 in favor of the Tigers. It seems like the last couple of possessions over there in the CC zone for Miami have kind of been a little bit too cute. Just not not prioritizing this getting shot on net maybe one more extra pass two more or too much and it's kind of just dumb it down a little bit see if the Red Hawks can steal another one yep Buck here in over the Tiger line Ben Lown had it now Phil Nyes skated it trying to go towards the net in the right circle but he got tripped over as Crookshank fell down in front of him now up at the left point Ben Lown backhands one into the zone Phil Nyes behind the Tiger net as Bursich angled him off the puck and the backhand pass will go to the slot. And Farney plays it in from the red line and wraps it all the way around. Rimshaw in the far corner, Gilling hits him off. Now Phil Nye's far side will play this one up to Ben Lown who's got it in front of the benches and will dump this one into the zone as Israel has it for CC and skates it behind the Tiger net. Israel, far side pass, Bloom and Shine on it for the Tigers. He'll play it across the ice for Israel, bank it off the boards, and this will be an icing call as he was looking from a shot who's standing at the Miami line, but it never quite reached him. And the icing whistled, and the faceoff comes down to the Tiger end with 1.16 to go in the second. Let me. And Colorado College split their series in November back in the Springs. It was a win on Friday night for Colorado College. Miami came back on Saturday to win in overtime 3-2, and that's the last win Miami's had in the regular season. And that was back on November 17th. As we reach the one-minute mark of the second period, Mark Russell has it behind the Miami net. He will pass this one far corner for Jonathan Gruden who got it turned over in his own end, but CC couldn't quite keep it in inside the blue line, and they're going to be offside. 48 seconds to go here for Miami as they have looked a lot more alive after that Grant Hunt and goal in this period, and just got to build on the positives here if you're the Miami Redhawks. 45 seconds to go in the second. River Rimshaw on the corner. This one played behind the net. Grant Hutton for Miami. Landed off the near boards, looking for Green right side. And this one turned over at center. Conzo, far side feed. This is a shot in that deflects wide from Wilkie. Now left point McCaskill. That one off the pad of Uhelski. Played behind the net for the Red Hawks. Jonathan Gruden, along with three other white jerseys, were behind the cage. Gruden can't get it out of the zone. He has to use Karch Bachman to do it. Now CC controls it back at center. This will be Conzo who plays it down the left side. Rimshaw the only one back behind the goal line for Miami and stops it behind the net. And three seconds to go in the second period and that's going to do it for the first 40 minutes. So CC started the period with a goal. They got their fifth and then Miami got on the board too with Grant Hutton's rip from the line. And we end the first 40 minutes with the shots 19 to 16 in favor of Colorado College. Tigers lead the score though, five to one. As we hit the second intermission here from Oxford, the third period call coming up next. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
Blockside Kenny Sheerlinger, my name is Patrick Geshin, about to begin the third period of action here from Steve Keeney Arena in Oxford. The Miami Red Hawks trail Colorado College by a score of five to one as we begin the final 20 minutes of play. Shots right now 19 to 16 in favor of the Tigers as we begin the final frame. And the center ice face off one back by Colorado College and they play it to the Miami end. Rourke Russell with a puck, played it forward, or Scott Corbett, who backhands it in from center, and it's stopped behind the CC net by LeClaire. Puck here near side, Wilkie plays it across the ice, taken here by Trey Bradley, he fired it in on Uhelski, who was back in to start his first period of the night. He came in to begin the second period after, or he came in during the first period, rather, after Ryan Larkin allowed his fourth goal. Rizzola played it up the right side. This one at center. Karch Bachman in over the CC line with it. And to the left circle. And coming in there to knock the puck away was Brizola. Now it's loose in front in the slot. And Gordy Green couldn't make a backhand play to get it on net. Karch Bachman near half wall. Behind the net for Gordy Green. He's got it in the far corner. Konzo came in to rough him up. Now the puck in the far circle back to the line. And Mahalik plays it around behind the net. And all the way back to the left side for Ripshaw. Fired it in, bad save there by LeClaire. Conso plays it off the boards and now Wilkie has it up the right side for CC. Wilkie in over the Miami line, he's got it right circle. He will play this one across and Mashad now with an opportunity, he had it behind the net. And River Rimshaw up the left side for Miami trying to get it out of the zone and Red Hawks able to bat it out to the center circle. Gruden comes away with the puck, he's in all alone, a weak shot there. Will stay on the ice and go wide right of LeClaire. Now at the right point, Ben Lown couldn't come in for CC. Backhand play at center ice. Casey Gilling knocked it away. And he's got it at the red line. And now Trevor Gooch trying to play it forward for the Tigers. And they'll get into their offensive zone. Here's Mashad, far corner. Circles back against Sinard. Now he's got it pinched up against the far boards. Casey Gilling, the play across to Phil Nyes at center. He'll return to Gilling, Miami and over the Tiger line. They've got a four on two going, a slap shot though by Lound at the top of the right circle. His stick shattered. Now at the left point, Dashkey. Fired a wrist shot in, deflected off his stick behind the net. Filled eyes, a little wraparound move there, but couldn't get it to go. Now Gilling behind the net for Miami. Laid it to Dashkey in front, the chance for Soroki. Yet another try too, but got tripped up as LeClaire got his pad on the first shot. And the puck comes back to center where Rourke Russell plays it off to Soroki who backhands this one behind the net. And played here by CC. Israel got it far point. Farney, cross ice pass up the right side. Versic then goes in the cross again for Berg in the left side. And CC had it in the circle but never could quite get a shot off. Now Grant Hutton, the defenseman on the rush, plays it at the red line and dumps it in. Christian Mose along the near hash marks. This one played up the left wing boards and Berg takes it over for the Tigers. Now Versic almost got it over to Mose. Here's Hawkinson now for Miami. Skates it in over the Tiger line and backhands this one behind the net for LeClaire. Blumenshine takes over for CC. Plays it out to center. Here's Copeland. Gave it off to Middledorf. And now the Red Hawks have it far side and is chipped in from center by Corbett. And Blumenshine gets it back for the Tigers behind their own net. He's got it up the near board. Stopped there at the line, though. Corbett fires the puck back in. Behind the net, Gruden picks it up for Miami, and the puck goes to the far boards. And it's going to be Copeland who tries to play it out of the zone and taken over here by Gruden. And the puck goes back to the blue line, and down the right side with it is Middendorf. He will have it in the circle, try to feed one to the middle, but couldn't. Got deflected off the skate. Now at the far circle, it is Gordy Green who plays it out to center. Alec Mahalik dumps it in over the Tiger line and comes behind the net. Karch Bachman, it's loose in front. Gordy Green tried to come in and get a stick on it, but CC knocked it away just in time. Now they're up the left side. This is Cole McCaskill. He'll play this one behind the net. Looking there for his player, and then a shot came in from the slot. That was Konzo, and a good save there by Uhelski with 15.36 to go. In a quick moving third period. Up the right side, Wilkie, and over the Red Hawk line. Now the right circle, a feed down low. Wilkie gets it back. He will make a move, fired a shot. Blocked down by Sinard. The puck comes out of the zone and back to center. Wilkie still with it. 
We're playing off the near boards, picked off off the bounce by Konzo. Now Israel shot from the right circle, got patted away by Uhelski. Barney kept it in left point to the far corner now. It is played there by CC. And now the puck back to center and Phil Nyes chips it in from the red line right and on Leclerc who puts a glove on it and stops the clock with 15.02 to go in the third period. Red Hawks with a couple opportunities here as they look like they're building momentum slowly a little bit here. Something that you do have to remember is this is a two game series. You have a, you're playing tomorrow on this same sheet of ice so you just gotta battle through this 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 tough uh, Friday and, and work your way into Saturday and and try to build off of anything possible. Ace off one to the far corner. Phil Nyes gets shoved over there by Brian Yoon. Nyes again with the puck. He mm. got hit a little bit from behind by Yoon and he's struggling to get up along the boards. No call on the play. Casey Gilling at the far hash marks, pinching up against the boards. Mashad in there battling against him. Now Ben Lown with the puck in the corner. Going against Blumenshine who's trying to get his stick in there. And the puck squirts free, and CC has it behind their own net. They'll skate it up to Bernadelli. Will fire a pass to center, and Gooch couldn't catch it cleanly. Now Boom and Shine got it to the middle. Mashad to Bernadelli. Mm. Nice shot from the slide. Uhelski able to make the save with his chest. And he holds on with 14.22 to go in the third period. Colorado College 5, Miami 1. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. <laughs> What is your emergency? My kid shot himself. All right, where's the wounds? 911, what's your emergency? Please help. My son shot his brother. 911, what is your emergency? 911, please state your emergency. Every day. This is the story of a very special woman. In a matter of seconds, she turned herself into a great mathematician or an entrepreneur. Her knowledge was limitless and still is. She could also make monsters disappear, especially those that lurked in the shadows under the bed. Once, this woman put back together a teenage girl's broken heart, which had been shattered in a thousand pieces, just by giving her a bear hug. She masqueraded as a regular person at work, but as a superhero at home. Everyone knows her as Gabriella. I still call her mom. Your hero needs you now, and AARP is here to help. Find the care guides you need to help, complete with tips and resources, at aarp.org slash care. Face off to the left of Jordan Uhelski, 14-22 to go in the third period. Back here at Steve Katie Arena. And with Kenny Shearlinger, I'm Patrick Geshin. Monty Graham got the puck in the near circle and played it off the boards to Corbett. Now across ice feet to Crookshank, fired it in off the shoulder of Uhelski, makes the save, and now Renhawks trying to work it out of their own end. Brian Hawkinson played it up the right side boards. Here's Leclerc after it for CC, wraps it all the way around the high glass. Hawkinson touched it with a stick, but they're gonna say it wasn't high. Now it comes up down the left side board. CC can't get it into the Miami end, and here comes Corbett up the right side for the Red Hawks. He's got Hawkinson with him over the line. Corbett now takes it behind the CC net, reverses direction, passes this one up around the boards to the right points, and Art gave it back to Corbett, and then his backhand pass picked off by the Tigers, and Versich up the right side will dump it in from center, and CC will get a full five-man change with Miami controlling the puck in their own net. Dashke over to Sinard, far side, gave it off to Corbett, who tipped it in from center. Leclerc behind his own net. Passes one far side for Farney. Christian Moses on it for Miami, and then it's played by Aki, Iran behind the net to the near side. Sinard kept it in for Miami, left point. Soroki couldn't control it, left corner. Aki now the backhand play, wraps it around to Ben Israel. And now the Red Hawks will have it here along the near board. Zach Laval plays it back to Christian Mose. Lowe's far side pass, or I guess dump in rather, went off the dasher boards and then behind the net for Leclerc. Barney off high glass, back to center and all the way down the ice. Sinard's got it for the Red Hawks. And we'll play this one off the near boards for Gordy Green. Green backhand pass across. In the third period, here comes Conzo, has it in the circle. Now it is Gordy Green with a puck for Miami. He'll pass it off to Gruden, and Gruden up the left side with it for the Red Hawks. We'll Dump this one into the corner. 
Rudin almost got it up to the line. Now played here by Troy Conzo. He's down the left side with it. And Grant Hutton trying to bat it out of the air with the puck behind the net. Here comes Wilkie with it for CC. Will spin around move there. Loose it further than that. They keep banging away at it. It was Bradley in front. And Uhelski was able to make saves on all of his opportunities as he was all alone trying to jam it home. Now Bachman down the left side, CCN, his attempt fizzled out. The Tigers take the puck back in the corner, but then stolen by Green and then picked up by Gilling. Gilling has it near hash marks, walks it up to the line. Fired a weak shot in on the ice, that's pad saved away by LeClaire. Now Phil Nice gets pitched up against the corner. McCaskill off the high glass, almost gloved down by Rimshaw. And taken back here by Crowder. We'll go cross ice to Ben Lown with it, and he skates it up the right side, but couldn't quite feed it in from center. Now CC with it again. This is Brazola all the way across the ice. He will get it to the far side for Gooch, who played it behind the net. Now in the far corner, McCaskill back to Gooch. Nice play in front as the shot came in from a shot for the right circle. And Uhelski got it in the bread basket with 11.07 to go in the third period. Shots 23-20 in favor of the Tigers. You gotta hand it to Uhelski here. He, he stood tall, put in a difficult yep. situation, and. Just like last Friday, he's making the most of his uh, opportunity. Mesop will be to his left, and Miami's gonna get their representative kicked out of the draw here. It will be Monty Graham ejected and coming to take his place will be, looks like Scott Corbett. Red Hawks won the draw to the left wing. Derek Dashke lifted it out to center, and then it got batted in out of the air by Colorado College into the penalty box. So they're going to fire a new puck. On to the ice for the referees to drop at center. With 10.59 to go in the third period. And these two teams meet again tomorrow night, 7.05 Eastern time on Red Hawk Radio. And that will be game two of the series in the last game of this little four-game homestand for Miami. Redhawks on the road next weekend at St. Cloud. CC with another offensive chance. Mashad high slot, couldn't feed it forward. Israel came in with a loose puck at the line. Big rebound after the save by Uhelski. And Mashad fired it wide. Now Gooch right point. Cross ice Farney, his shot saved by Uhelski's chest. Hawkinson laid his shoulder into Farney as he tried to get the puck in the corner. Then Mashad, the fiend at front. And Bernadelli tried to get one in from the left circle, but it deflected off a stick and out of play. And the faceoff will be in the Miami end here with 10.29 to go in the third period. Another triple header weekend for Miami Athletics too. Of course, last weekend, women's basketball, men's basketball, and hockey in action at home. And that will be the same tomorrow, Saturday, with women's basketball, men's basketball, and ice hockey in action. Make sure you turn in Tune in for the men's basketball at 3.30 here on Red Hawk Radio. You're home for Miami basketball as well. Red Hawks playing Bowling Green in the men's game tomorrow. Very good opponent coming in as they uh, are slotted right now in Joe uh, Lenardi's bracketology as a 14 seed. Really? So that's two teams from the MAC. Uh, obviously Buffalo, who's the powerhouse, powerhouse in the MAC and has been in basketball. So... Good opportunity for the Red Hawks to notch a very good win tomorrow at Millette Hall. Yep. Had a good win earlier in the week against Ball State, too, a game you heard right here on Red Hawk Radio. And this men's basketball team get another win tomorrow. That'll be huge for their season. One and four in Mac play right now as this one shot in from the right point by Hutton, gloved down by LeClaire with 10.02 to go in the third period. I mean, everybody beating themselves in the Mac, it, it, the whole conference is kind of beating each other up and Red Hawks started 0-4 and reeled off two straight wins and you never know they can get hot and get right back into the mix of the Mac East so yep face off one by Gruden to the left of LeClaire at the right point Gordy Green fired a wrist shot in and Trevor Versich has it behind the Tiger net will back in this one over to McCaskill now a loose puck in the slot Rimshot came in from the line he fired a wrist shot they got blocked by a body in front and the puck now to CC. They'll skate it up the right side as Perzola carries it up through center and in over the line. Fired, fired it wide in on Uhelski to the near side. Berg, the backhand play to Rimshaw. Now Mahalik has it for the Red Hawks. Taken free after it is Gruden. 
He'll play it up the near boards for Bachman. Now it's center. It is stolen away by Gordy Green. He's up the left side going against McCaskill, who's able to steal the puck away. Green wanting a penalty there as he was held a little bit, but no arms going up. That's been the story tonight. We've only had one penalty so far, and it was against Miami, an interference minor on Casey Gilling. Puck now far side, CCN. Casey Gilling has it for the Red Hawks in the far corner. Skates it up the far boards, feeds Phil Nyes. Nice backhand feed there in the far circle, but Nyes shot immediately blocked by the Tigers, who will get this one out to center. Williams chips it ahead, trying to go on Sennard, and Uhelski got to the puck first. It came to his net, he played it to the near boards, and back to center it goes for Yoon, who goes cross ice to Blumenshine. Blumenshine over to Copeland, misplayed it at center. Red Hawks were a little bunched up. Phil Nyes trips going in over the line. Now the puck at the far boards for CC. Blumenshine has it in over the red line. Now in over the Red Hawk line. Copeland skates it behind the Miami net. He's got it at the near boards, stripped away by Nyes, and Hutton comes away with the puck and feeds it to the middle for Russell. Up the right side, Ben Lown chipped it in to behind the Tiger net. Ewan picks it up for Colorado College and plays it to the near boards for Wilkie who skates it up the right side for CC. Wilkie in the offensive zone, little shot there along the ground, patted away by Uhelski. Russell got hit behind the net. Monty Graham took the loose puck away from that collision with Farney. Now coming away with it is Bradley, who got tripped up there in the near corner. And now Crowder takes it behind the Miami net and feeds it off the center, but off of the skate of Corbett. And then it found Hawkinson in the middle and he played it behind the net to LeClaire and the CCN. So Miami here will get a change. And CC gets it back to center. Wilkie up the left side and over the Red Hawk line. Backhand feed to the corner. And could not be taken over by Conso. Now Derek Dashke near boards. Will skate it out to center. It's tipped in there by Laval. And now LeClaire has it behind the Tiger net. And we'll wrap this one around the far boards, looking for Bernadelli. Rimshot couldn't catch the pass there, and CC back the other way. This is Mashad, left side, in front, looking for a pass there to Gooch, who backhanded it wide, didn't quite have a clean grip on his stick. And the puck back to center for CC with 6.53 to go in the third period. It's 5 1 Tigers. Radox have it in the offensive zone. They give it quickly away. Bernadelli circles back with it. Near side for you, Brazola. In over the Red Hawk line, right side. Gooch, though, couldn't grab it for CC as the puck was loose in front of him. Now Green in the backhand feed. Soroki in the offensive zone. Hutton waited to fire a slap shot top of the right circle, and Leclerc got a pat on it. Puck back to center in front of the benches. Here's Hutton with it in the circle. He mishandled it at center. Mashad got it back, and here comes a breakaway and a shot off the pipe that rattled the iron from Berg. Who had a wide open look if the Red Hawks turned it over at center. Now Blumenshine in his own end for CC. Near side pass for Yoon. Up the right side with it. He gets played by Versic in the right circle to Miami end. He's got it far corner, or near corner rather. Now it is played here by Bachman who gets it up the left wing boards for Green. He gets it to the center circle, dumps it in and chases after it. Blumenshine there first for the Tigers. Berg has a near corner, CCN. Played it up the right wing side for Gilling. And now it is going to be a big hit by Crookshank as Russell laid a body on him to take the puck away. Gordon Green to center. Arch Bachman in over the Red Hawk line, or the Tiger line rather. Gilling fired a shot from the far circle that went in over the net. Now Versich gets tripped up at center. Now it is Berg all alone in the Miami end, got shoved in the face, and we're going to get a penalty here as a rimshaw came in defensively and gave him a nice two-hander up in the mask and he's going to go to the box here for a penalty with 5.25 to go in the third period. So Colorado College to the power play. They got a 5-1 lead late stages of the third. You're listening to Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Adopt US Kids presents what to expect when you're expecting a teenager learning the lingo. Jelly. Jelly adjective. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. I'm probably okay to have one more drink before I drive home. 
probably okay. I opened the window to stay alert. Probably okay, I just popped some gum in my mouth. Step out of the car, please. I probably made a mistake. Probably okay isn't okay when it comes to drinking and driving. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Adopt US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager. Five twenty-five left, third period. Colorado College five, Miami one, and the Red Hawks here are actually going to have a power play. They whistled that minor against Berg, actually, so he's going to sit in the box for two minutes. And it's going to be a high-sticking minor on him. So Miami on the power play here for the first time tonight with five twelve left in the third. They're going to get it in over the CC line. Grant Hutton near boards, trying to pass it back for Gruden. Now a loose puck at the line and. CC will take it over as Bradley got on it and played it back to his own end, but a clearing attempt by Jung got picked off at center by Green. He'll go back to Mahalik, returns to Green and across the center circle, near side feed to Hutton and over the Tiger line. Hutton in the corner, the backhand pass across, taken here by Corbett. He's got it far hash marks, now over to Mahalik. Gordon Green, near side pass, Hutton in the circle, skates it up to the high slot and then back to the line. Now Green has it near point. Walks the blue line with it. Hutton top to left circle, rifled a shot, went off of his own man in front. That was Corbin who blocked it. And it's cleared all the way back down by the Tigers. Uhelski stops it behind his own net. Derek Dashke with it to pick it up for the Red Hawks. Far side feed over for Hawkinson. And Miami offside by a mile there as three white jerseys were in over the line before the puck came in. And so the faceoff comes to neutral ice with 4.12 to go in the third. 47 seconds to go in the Masonburg high sticking minor and the Miami power play as the crowd has thinned out a little bit more and more as we've gone on in the third period. 4.09 left in it now. Mark Russell played it in from center behind the net. LeClaire couldn't quite grab it. Phil Nye skates it up the boards, backhand feed to Dashke, far side of Russell, back to Dashke at the line, Russell far point, fired a shot in, a nice save by LeClaire to hold on to the rebound, as Phil Nye's looking for the second opportunity, fell over in the crease. Shots only though, 27-25 in favor of the Tigers. And the faceoff here comes to the left of LeClaire. Game two tomorrow night, 7.05 Eastern here at Steve Cady Arena. Dashke has it right point after a Miami faceoff win. Far side pass to the circle for Gilling. He fired a wrist shot that deflected to the left of the net. Grant Hutton has it left point. Cross ice feed. Gilling's got it. Top of the right circle. Returns to Hutton at the line. Loose puck in front. Rebound. Red Hawks trying to play it in. Gilling had the Best opportunity, but it was a weak shot that went right to LeClaire's pads. And behind the net, Brian Yoon has it in the corner. Couldn't clear, though. He fanned on the attempt. Hawkinson, backhand pass. Killing right circle shot right to the breadbasket. He'll get the rebound and take it back to the far corner. Hutton at the line, walked in from the right point. Right circle shot, got blocked down. And Dashke then whistles one from the left point that went over the net and off the glass. And the puck back to center and all the way to the Red Hawk end. Miami trying to catch CC in a change. River Rimshaw. Gave it up to Derek Dashke as the penalty expires and the puck now behind the CC net. So Miami goes 0 for on the power play tonight. They're 0 for 1 right now. Williams fired it in from center for CC and Uhelski gloved it up and he will hold on with 2.52 to go in the third period. Colorado College 5, Miami 1. This is Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Adopt US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting a Teenager Learning the Lingo. GOAT, G O A T, 
acronym stands for greatest of all time. As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my fave. Dad, you're the goat. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. Miami here trying to find some momentum to carry over in the game tomorrow as they get the face off and the puck back down to their offensive end but they're going to be whistled for an icing here with 244 left in the third shots even right now 27 apiece looking down at the Miami bench Kenny a lot of confused faces lots of playing skit stairs there and uh, the body language is not the best we've seen it and you just got to like we said, it sounded like a broken record. You just got to build off the positives and, and try to build off the little things and bigger things can happen. And to give the Red Hawks credit, they have looked better in this, these last two periods after giving up a few goals. But you just got to build off of it and come back tomorrow ready to play. Yep. Ray Crowder center, far side pass. Tried to take over it was Farney, and he did. And fired it in from the middle there for CC to the near corner for Crowder. Backhands went off the boards for Ripshaw. Now back to center. Tigers have it. Right side, Copeland in over the line. Feeds it to the middle. And they're going to score as Maldendorf gave it off to court, or Versich, rather, who rifled it in top right corner on Uhelski. He had a wide open look in the slot. And just to add some more salt to the wound, 6-1. The score now for Colorado College is that will be Cristiano Versic, his fourth goal of the season and ninth of his career out of Kelly Lake, Minnesota. So Gilling wins the faceoff at center back to Mahalik. So Uhelski's given up two goals of the game since he took over after Ryan Larkin gave up four. McCaskill behind the CC net, skates it up the left side, banks it off high glass. Berg almost took it over, and now the backhand play to Brizola up the right side. And he played it into Versich. And now it is Gilling behind the net for the Red Hawks. Far side feed for Ben Lown. He's got it at the middle and fires it into the near corner. Here comes Brizola. Now Berg taken back here by Nyes. He will try to go to the middle, and then a shot with a wide open puck in front of the net by Laval, but it went off the pads of Leclerc. Now Versich has it for CC, and will backhand this one behind the net to Verzola, and then reverses it back to Gersich, or Versich rather. Berg couldn't catch the pass near side, it's gonna be icing on CC as they try to feed him from the neutral zone. A couple of the right hawk opportunities of recent is Kind of just been blocked and, and kind of lost on the ice. And just kind of have to get it up off the ice and try to lift the puck a little bit. And try to find some open space in the net. and Maybe can come away with a couple more goals if they can be able to do that. Yep. It's got to be a little bit more effort in all areas for Miami. River Ribshaw, left point shot. Rifled in on LeClaire. Now it's hit it from the right side. And LeClaire again making the save as we're down to less than a minute to go in the third period. Christian Moe's trying to come out of the left corner against McCaskill. Soroki almost took over for him. Now the puck squirts to the far corner. Moe's against McCaskill again. And going hard against the boards was Zach Laval. Moe's far side. Now it's Soroki digging at it. Laval almost stand in the corner. Moe's passed it up to the line. Kept into the zone by Crowder. Now at the right circle, Versich will get the puck up the right side for CC. And then over to Berg. In over the Red Hawk line, Versich top of the right circle, fed it to the middle, Crowder took over there with 15 to go. Now Laval on the near side, stolen by Versich in the corner, in front, a nice move there by Williams, but he couldn't get clean control of the puck. And Corbett sends it back to center, and Farney now with it for CC. Near side pass for Oki, far side look for Williams, and that's gonna do it with a final horn sounding tonight from Steve Caney Arena. Your final. In game one of this two-game series, Colorado College 6, Miami 1. And right from the get-go, it was not Miami's night. 
definitely was not their night, not the, the bounce back game that they were looking for, but you got another opportunity for it, and they really, really need to bounce back here as it's it's very disheartening to see this team the, the way they look right now and the body language kind of tells you it all you just one look over the bench and you have a team that has been more misfortunate than you really through the whole season uh, you're sitting higher in the standings as them and you're at home and you, you just gotta you gotta at least put the series here and just come back strong tomorrow get a good night's sleep yep. and hopefully uh just come away with a positive win here next tomorrow on saturday so miami now remains in sixth place in the standings with 12 points colorado college will jump to 11 points they're tied for seventh now with omaha miami's opponent next week but we'll get to that next week red hawks here have business to take care of tomorrow night against colorado college so six one your final score tonight the winless streak extends to 11 games for miami Kenny Scherlinger will, will be with you at Millette Hall tomorrow for men's basketball action. Miami and Bowling Green should be a great game tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. at Millette Hall. And then we'll back, be back here at Steve Kate Arena tomorrow night, 7.05, the puck drop for Colorado College and Miami game two. All of that here on Red Hawk Radio tomorrow for an exciting day of Miami sports. Hopefully it is. So for Kenny Scherlinger, my name is Patrick Eschett saying so long and good night from Goggin Ice Center in Oxford on this Friday night. Colorado College 6, Miami 1, your final. We'll see you soon here on Red Hawk Radio. This is Miami Hawk.